Hi, I'm Alicia, aka Rhapsody. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. And I have another I have another Halloween release to share with you guys today. Um, Halloween is my favorite time of year, and I'm someone who can't resist seeing all the new things. Anyway, I just want to try everything. And when it comes to Halloween, I, and I love everything spooky. So Halloween is my great Achilles heel. Um, I simply can't resist when I see some of the wonderful spooky stuff coming out. And so I have picked up some things here and there from different brands that I will be sharing with you, uh, releases that they've put out for the, for the season. Uh, today I want to share with you two of the new liquid lipsticks from LA Splash, Dia de los Muertos. Uh, collection, the Day of the De Dead collection, and I apologize, I can't speak Spanish to save my life, but um, last year they put out their first collection like this, um, and it was mm, mostly uh, less wearable colors. I now have that full collection. It's in there all metallic, and now they've just released the second set. The first set is still available, just not in its limited edition packaging. The second set is now out, and I'm going to show you this is the card that comes with any purchase from the set. This is the full line. I think I will also throw in a picture here of, I'll throw in a picture, I'll throw in a picture of, I'll throw in a promotional picture from their Instagram so you can see the full line. But of course, being me, I opted for the two least wearable colors, the most unconventional shades, because those were the ones that called to me. Uh, and as soon as the collection launched, I went on the website and picked those up. If you make a purchase of $25 or more, shipping is free from LA Splash. And um, these lipsticks are $16 a piece, so two lipsticks, free shipping. There are also loads of codes out there for 15 or 20 percent off if you just look, um, search for coupon code, which I did. So at any rate, um, the shades that I got were La Bella Morte, which is the one on my lips today, and Milagros. And I'm going to share them with you, uh, tell you my initial impressions, and show you um, the shades from last year that are most similar to them. All right, first off, the packaging is fantastic, obviously. This is La Bella Morte. This is the packaging for it, and here's the lipstick. I'm sure these will, um, like last year, become part of the permanent line, but they will probably not always have the super cool limited edition um, tops like this. So this shade is kind of um, like a dark brown with a, a green shift and it's metallic. The wands are different from previous LA Splash wands. You can see it kind of has a, it has a hole in the middle and it's um, at an angle. And the other shade that I picked up from the collection, uh, and the reason I didn't pick up the full collection is first, I really couldn't afford to, and second, the other colors were more conventional this year, this, uh, mostly like kind of red and orange based shades. Um, so the second one I picked up, this is kind of a metallic brown almost. This is Milagros, Milagros. Again, fantastic packaging. So, so cute. There's what that looks like. 
It does have a little bit of um, a gold kind of um, or almost bronze look to it. I'm going to take this one off so that I can put Milagros on for you so you can see a lip swatch of it as well. And of course, the formula for LA Splash like lasts forever and it's not easy to get off. I had been wearing La Bella Morte um, all day and I have to say that I think they've improved the formula. It, it never started flaking or anything. I had minor wear in the middle after eating, but that was it. These do last like forever. This one is Milagros. And if you have used LA Splash liquid lipsticks before, you know that they have a really horrible smell. They smell like very intensely chemicals, but um, they seem to have, for the most part, fixed that as well. These, um, you can detect the undercurrent of chemicals, but um, they've masked it with like a citrusy orange scent that almost completely cancels it out. All right, this is Milagros. I really need a lip liner with it. I'm going to try and get in close so hopefully you can see the metallic shimmer. I'm not sure that this suits me, but it is an interesting color. All right, so again, Milagros and La Bella Morte. I'm now going to show you uh, the two liquid lipsticks from last year's uh, Day of the Dead collection that are most similar to these, which would be Katrina and Guadalupe. This one's Guadalupe. You can see, you can see how the brush has changed. This is your standard doe foot. This one was much more um, bronze, bronze, gold, and metallic. Less uh, subtle on the um, metallic shimmer. And this one's Katrina. I think it's going to be very similar to La Bella Morte except that instead of a green shift, it has a blue shift. Yeah. It's a really interesting color. So, um, I'm excited with my Halloween purchases once again, and uh, I hope that this is an, will be an ongoing trend that every year LA Splash will release a new um, Day of the Dead collection with more unusual metallic shades um, and keep improving their formula as they go. I'm very happy to see the improvements since last year. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing these new shades from LA Splash's new Day of the Dead collection. And until next time, I thank you so much for watching, and have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.